everyone, it's your girl Felicia. Hi, Felicia. I'm baking homemade sweet potato pies. It's easy and super delicious. And if you have a few minutes to share with me, I will show you how I make my homemade sweet potato pies. So, let's get to it. Okay, this is a pot I will be using. It is an eight quart stainless steel multi cooker with the glass lid. And I have my potatoes. They've been washed and they're ready to go. Pot clean. And you're going to take this part. I'm like to see how part this, this part is, the strainer. And we're going to fill this up with water. You don't want it to reach over to where this starts. You just want to put enough water in it. Sometimes you can just check and just see how far your water is because you don't want your potatoes laying in the water. You want to keep it under this basket. So it's under the basket. It's not a whole lot of water. Just enough in there for it to get that good steam in there. So, I'm going to turn my heat on. I'm going to start it off with medium. And I'm not going to put all my sweet potatoes in here because I want to be able to have enough room for me to turn these potatoes around. I got four. Four big ones. But um, I'm going to use those big two. And I'm going to put this lid on. Make sure the lid is on. And I'm going to let this stove be on for like 10 minutes. And then I'm going to turn it down until about low. Because you want that steam to get up. And you don't want to burn. Because you can still burn this. Um, <clears throat> but you don't want to just have it to where the setting is so high. And the water evaporate, evaporates so quickly. So once you can, check it. To see where your water is at. And you can just pull this up. And if you need more water, water's too low, you just simply add more water until it's done. And so we'll be back to check it. Now I'm going to check these um, sweet potatoes. I'm going to check that, see how much water is left in it. So it's been 25 minutes. Check this water level. Still quite a lot of water in there. So I'm going to turn this up <clears throat> a little. So I'm still hard. But I am going to just flip this over since it's been <clears throat> 25 minutes on this side. So I'm going to turn this from low, I'll slow up to medium, you know. It depends on you got a gas stove, electric stove, and this is gas, and so. Turn up almost on medium. Put the lid back on. And you just keep checking it every 10 or 15 minutes to make sure it got enough water in there. Okay, this has been about an hour. And I have been checking it. It's about close to steaming. About 55 minutes. And you want to do that fork test. It's tender. Look how easy it's going in there.
real tender. So I do have two of these pots and I got my other one on. So I put the other two potatoes in it. I said, well, it's gonna take a long time. It'll probably still be okay to put the potatoes on top of one of each other, on um, top of each other's, but I went on, since I got another pot just like this one, I got my other potatoes in that one. And I'm gonna turn this off, waiting for my other potatoes to get ready. These cool down so I can peel the skin off of them. Okay, all my potatoes have finished steaming and this is how it is it's good and um you set your oven at 350 degrees and i'm gonna give you a tip you know how sometimes when you bake sweet potato pies have you ever came across somebody cross that wasn't brown on the bottom it was still raw so to tackle that get you a cooking sheet and you put it in your oven got your oven on and i'm gonna put mine in the oven now while the oven is preheating you want that cookie sheet in there so that way when you get ready to fill your pie shells um you want to put your um your pie your sweet potato pie on top of that cooking sheet. And while it's cooking, it's gonna cook the bottom of that crust and it's gonna be brown. So I learned that tip long time ago. I mean, through you, some years ago. And I just thought about, you know, I'm tired of my stuff being half raw on the bottom. And I was just cooking some cookies. And I started thinking about how cookies get brown on the bottom. So I said, well, let me just try this out. And I put that cookie sheet in there and let it stay in there for at least about 20 minutes and let that cookie sheet get real hot. And once you put that um put that pie sitting on top of that cookie sheet, it will get your crust brown on the bottom. So my oven is going off and it's ready. And so I'm gonna get ready to take this skin off these potatoes. Steaming is good. However you want to do it, you want to bake it, put it. Some people in the microwave, some people boil them, and I'm steaming these. And just see how it looks. Got my garbage nearby. This potato's hot. <laughs> and, um, not as real hot like the other ones. I'm gonna have to let them cool down. Whew. So I'm gonna um, finish taking these off. And I like to pull those little black pieces out. I'm going to finish taking these peels off these potatoes and when I finish I'll be back. Okay I transferred my sweet potatoes into my mixing bowl for my KitchenAid but I'm going to be using my hand mixer so I'm going to use this to get all these strings out of these potatoes. <laughs> strings so I push this out and 
now rinse, put some water over, rinse this off, and stick this back into my mixer. And I keep doing this until most of all these strings are gone because you don't want a stringy sweet potato. Okay, next we want to add our butter. I finished mixing it. And I got all the strings out. And you don't, just like you don't want the strings in your pie, you do not want these strings down your kitchen sink. So make sure you put your little strainer stopper in your sink. And when you get rid of the rinse those beetles off, you want to make sure it catch it. And you want to discharge this in the garbage. So the butter, six to eight tablespoons. I mean, yes. So... I don't want to start out putting up too much butter. I want to do like six tablespoons. Depends on how much pie you're going to make, how many pounds. So, side way be better than less than more. So, I'm going to leave those two tablespoons off and I'm going to start with this. And then there's room temperature butter. Some people melt it. And it's really up to you. And also, when I do my potatoes, I do want to still make sure your potatoes are warm. And if they're not warm, you can just heat them up in the microwave a little bit, but it's, you don't have to. warm um, sweet potatoes the potatoes are still warm you don't have to worry about melting that butter you know you just got room temperature and it will just go right in and then the good thing about this is you still have any strings in it while you're using this um, mixer it's going to be right on the beaters. And so now I'm going to start adding in my spices and sugar. So I'm going to use one cup of sugar. I'm just going to put this in. Then a quarter cup of sugar. Then I want to add my cinnamon. I like a lot of cinnamon in my pies. Grab the wrong measuring spoon. I'm gonna use two teaspoons. No, I'm gonna do that with one teaspoon first. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause then I want to taste it and see do I need to add any more. I would best to start with less. Then one teaspoon of nutmeg. Then a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Gonna mix this together. in the bottom now I'm 
mix this in here. flour. Only time I add flour when I think it's my um my mixture is too like almost like too watery and not firm. So um I don't think right now I need to add in. Some people add milk. Sometimes I add milk. Sometimes I don't. Some people add whipping cream. But I'm just gonna add a little of whipping cream, and I will just do. Two taste it and see is that how much sugar and spices you want in because I got quite a bit of potatoes it's got enough nutmeg in it I'm going to add like Add like another teaspoon of cinnamon. Spoon. Hmm. I'm just going to add the other. Hmm. I think that's. I'm going to add the other. The other two, two tablespoons of butter. So that's the whole stick. Sweet potato pie is gonna be different because because of the size of potatoes that I use. So a lot of times you can have to go by. Do you have enough? Wash this up. Let me taste them again. That's enough sugar, everything. So now I'm going to add my eggs. Depending on how much potatoes you have. Two pounds of potato, two eggs. Got a little more, probably need to be three. And make sure I crack my eggs in my bowl just in case I get the eggshells. I rather have the eggshells in the bowl and I can take it out than in my pie. I'm trying to fish it out.
make it a mess. It's real creamy. I think I'm going to add one more egg. I think I got over more than two pounds of uh, sweet potatoes. Sugar. I am uh, moving the camera. Add it in. And I know that's enough. And it's just going to be a half, just a quarter cup, a quarter teaspoon. I grabbed the wrong teaspoon, but I put two in there. I'm not going to add any flour at all. And if you want to add any flour, you can add just like about one or two tablespoons. But I don't need any flour in mine. So I'm going to get ready to pour this in the pie dish. Okay, I'm ready to fill up my pie shells. And usually I just don't let them thaw out. I get them straight out the freezer. But these have been out the freezer for a little bit, not too long, a few minutes, and it was in the refrigerator. fill both of these up and I just want to tell you um when you're putting your um pie in the oven it's gonna bake anywhere between 40 and 45 minutes but if your crust start getting brown too quick there's a couple of things you can do you can use aluminum foil and put it around it after it start getting brown but don't put it on there while like this now raw or you can buy these um these pie crust chill and they'll go right across them. You can put that on once it's, you know, let it start getting brown a little bit so before you start using that. And also, before I even had a pie shield crust, I would use another aluminum pan. And it's good to use one, maybe if they have a deep dish pan, and you can set this, after it start browning some, again, too brown before your pie is cooked, you can just sit that on top. And your pie, crust will be safe. So I'm going to put this in the oven and let it bake in well between 40 and 45 minutes. But don't forget to stick your pie on that cooking sheet so it can get your crust brown on the bottom. 
It depends how long you're going to be in there. So you want that in the oven at least about 20 minutes before you even put the pie on it. Okay, these pies baked in the oven for a total of 45 minutes. And please let the pie stay on the cookie sheet so they could continue to get browned on the bottom. So just let them stay there until they completely cool. And then you want to sit them in the fridge to sit for about two hours or overnight. And make sure you wrap them up with some lunar foil before you put them in the fridge. Well, I am finished baking my pies for the day. And I hope to get a chance to make this recipe and share it with your family and friends. And if you would like to have this recipe, just look down below in the description box. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and anytime that I might stream live or upload a video, just hit that notification bell. And as always, have a blessed and wonderful day. This is your girl, Felicia. Bye.